Welcome to Delve Into The Void. This is a live stream update where I'm going to be discussing two games, Kingdom Hearts Melody of Memory and Star Wars Squadrons. Now, before I get started, please like and subscribe in my um, Facebook uh, site and also YouTube. And if you have any comments and questions, please leave them in the messages below on some of the games that I'm discussing and what your thoughts are. So let's take a look at the first game. The Kingdom Hearts franchise keeps coming out with new games and contents for fans to enjoy. This past week, the Kingdom Hearts 2020 announcement video was released earlier by Square Enix. It's a, um, one of the games out of the three announcements that they made for new content is Kingdom Hearts Melody of Memory. It is a rhythm action game coming to the PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and the Nintendo Switch in 2020. This is the first time the Kingdom Hearts franchise has been on the Switch, so this is an event in itself. It is going to feature 140 musical tracks and 20 characters from the Kingdom Hearts series. The tracks and the music will be a combination from Kingdom Hearts and Disney movies. We're going to have options for single player and multiplayer. Now, if you know of rhythm-based games such as Space Channel 5, Parappa the Rapper, and most recently on Nintendo Switch, The Cadence of Hyrule, those are fun games. You use your controller, you listen to it, and you hit the buttons the time to create some action. Now, what takes this genre to a whole nother level? You, when you have games like Just Dance series, when you can use the Joy-Cons, but games in the past such as Donkey Konga, Guitar Hero, Rock Band, and Dance Dance Revolution is when you get to have the instruments and the dance mats to use. How many of you back in the day because I know I did, whether it was at a pizza place, one of the last major arcade places, or shopping centers, you would see a Dance Dance Revolution set up and one player just going crazy on those mats. Trust me, I tried. I could go crazy on one mat until I hurt myself. Or how about games where youth could unleash your inner rock star, such as Guitar Hero and Rock Band? Those, you had your guitar, you had your instruments, and you just had your dance mats, you got people together, and you had a lot of fun. So what I'm thinking is, if this game either allowed support for existing guitars, or drums, or keyboards, or if it came out with their own Kingdom Hearts dance mat, that would be awesome. And that would bring a lot of fun to this game. So let me know in the comments below, with Kingdom Hearts, Melody of Memory, and I'm always getting this one mixed up. Melody of Memory, yes. Um, if you think that playing this game with a guitar, uh, drum set, or a dance mat, if that would be fun. So the next announcement that we have, another game that we talked about, is games that in the Star Wars universe. And as a kid, I had a lot of Star Wars toys. I had the action figures, I had the vehicles, I had accessories. Growing up, I always wanted to be Luke Skywalker, either Jedi Knight or Luke Skywalker X-Wing pilot. When I was a kid, I would always have my X-Wing in my different vehicles. I would fly around the house making battle sounds and laser noises. Much to the aggravation and probably embarrassment to my parents. Now I'm older, and I don't use do that anymore. <laughs> anyway, this past week we had an announcement by EA that there is a new game coming out in the Star Wars universe called Star Wars Squadrons, developed by Motive Studios in collaboration with Lucasfilm Lim Limited and published by EA. It's scheduled for an October 2nd release for the PlayStation 4, Xbox One, and PC. And it's going to have cross-play. You're also, if you have it, if you have your virtual reality headset, you're going to be able to play your PlayStation VR and PC with first-person cockpit views. So imagine how cool that's going to be. This game is being described as a first-person team-based Starfighter combat game 
that which takes place five years after the death of the empire. So the single player campaign has alternating perspectives for the Imperials and the New Republic set after the events of Return of the Jedi. So after the Star Wars Return of the Jedi when the Death Star blew up five years later, they're both on even keel as opposed to who's trying to uh, control the galaxy. So they're more closer and even than ever before. You're going to have different ships to use on missions and you're going to have different modes. You're going to have your story mode, your dogfight mode, which is five on fight, five on five dogfight battles, and you're going to have your fleet battles, which the objective of the fleet battles is to take out the enemy flagship. Think about this. You'll be able to select different fighters, either from the Imperial side or from the New Republic, and we can get to group together and relive our childhood with classic five on five dogfight battles. Let's also talk about the cosmetics in this game. There's going to be no microtransactions and everything that you can earn is in game, which is pretty cool. So if you wanna customize your ship, the color of your ship, or maybe put a little Ewok um, hangy wicket in your cockpit, you'll be able to earn that and do that. You'll also be able to upgrade your ship with more weapons, advanced shield, uh, faster, make it go faster, whatever you want, at least that is, you know, that is in the game. So with the VR coming out and cross play, I think that's gonna be a really fun game to play. Are you looking forward to that? And what ships would you wanna take out? In addition to the X-Wing and the, um, the classic TIE fighter, would you go for the Y-Wing? Would you go for one of the bombers? And how would you customize your ship? Are you gonna go for more shielding, for more firepower, for more maneuver maneuverability, or are you gonna go for speed? Like I said, these games are coming out uh, in the fall, look about for October and stuff. Are these games, are you interested in these games that kind of expand the franchise? It's always nice when games that come out, Kingdom Hearts, how many games has come out for that franchise that span different generations of systems? And now you've got a rhythm game. I didn't even talk about the iOS games that came out this past weekend. And then you're gonna have the music scores from the symphony orchestras that are gonna be available as well in 2020. And also with Star Wars, most of the games that we have uh, recently is the first person games. They've brought out a lot of retro games recently, but it's been a while since we've had a spaceship, uh, starfighter proper first person game. One thing I think will be really cool is if they bring out some type of flight stick or flight yoke that you could use um, cross compatible either with PlayStation 4 and or Xbox One and PC. I know a lot of PC, um, when they play their racing games, they have their steam wheels and they have their pedals. But could you imagine having your VR helmet strapped on and using your joystick with that futuristic look? Or if we're going back to Kingdom Hearts, maybe Jeremy Holder comes down and he has his guitar and I have my drum set and we're just playing out and having fun. It's always great when uh, uh, these franchises bring out unique experiences that we can all play and enjoy. And these games will be out later this year. Let me go to some of the comments to see what we got. Jeremy Holder, he loved Guitar Hero and Rock Band. You know, I could see that. What was your favorite instrument in your game to play? And let me ask you, what would you wanna play uh, first on the Star Wars Squadrons. Are you going to the game or you would just want to jump online in your VR headset? He also made a comment that Guitar Hero was on the DS too. Hmm, are you talking Guitar Hero or Kingdom Hearts? Because yes, it was on the DS, but I'm thinking like this was the first time that this was on the Nintendo Switch, a, a Kingdom Hearts game. So maybe they will bring out some other games. Maybe they'll bring out the DS collection on the 3DS, or excuse me, the 3DS collection on the Nintendo Switch. So thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. And if you haven't already, just leave me some comments and some of what you would like to see discussed here in the weeks. I plan on doing smaller episodes, piecing them together, and then at the end of the week, um, airing them. So these will go on my Facebook, my YouTube, the smaller contents, 
and then the bigger channel or the big content put together I'll be putting it out um, on the um, on the channel so thanks for um, stopping in sorry I had a little technical issue earlier but we get this all worked out as we go so thank you for watching and until next time